Hello and welcome to F1 2012 Season Challenge Round 1 at Monza. I have now put it on hard difficulty. And I'm driving for Catrium. There's a little startup video. On F1 News, Kimi Raikkonen signed for Lotus again for next year. Shame the New York Grand Prix has been put back to 2014. I was going to make his debut next year. Well, here is the driver's championship menu. And I have selected Roman Grosjean to be my rival. So I thought it wouldn't be a good idea to get like a top team. Well, I don't know if it's a top team, but not good to get like well, Sebastian Metal or not. So if we go for a rubbish person in a top team, should be able to beat them. Let's go through my emails. This side day before the race. I don't like Monza. It's... I like it if it's uneasy. But it's one of them tracks that I can't drive absolutely flat out on and not go wide. Abu Dhabi's in three days. Should be an interesting race. I hope Sebastian Vettel wins the title because I just do not like Vettel. He's just not a nice. No, no I don't like Alonso, sorry. He's just a very nice guy. Choosing a quick setup for maximum top speed. Now going down to cross the start finish line to start my lap. As you can see, it was a little bit slow because you can see the ghost of Vettel or Weber. Oh no, just locked my rears, it looks like. A terrible exit, and now I'm far behind Hamilton. Just gone sailing past. Now yeah, from around this corner, trying to make up as much time possible. Pretty good, cheeky for cutting the corner. These corners I don't like doing too fast because I know if I'm a little bit wide, I'll just go straight into the gravel, especially that one. Seems to tighten at the end. So you can't go as fast as you think you can. One point two behind them now. One hard difficulty that probably get me about eighteenth, maybe. Oh, back corner miles away from the apex. Not good at all. As you run down for the line, where am I? Okay, Nineteenth. Lost eight tenths in that last sector. Now to the race. Ricardo to my right. Hulkenberg ahead of me. I will get there first. Great start for me here. Bird just gets shoved out of the way. Ricardo's still ahead of me. Oh, oh, that's a bit cheeky. 
Very cheeky of me there. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Sorry about this. Yo. I may use a couple of flashbacks in this. Because, yeah. I'm gonna. After the next two races, I will not use flashbacks. I'm gonna turn on, I'm just get loads of places. It's hard not to beat them. Oh, cracking, oh no. See that? Tried to slow me down so it just spun me. That really annoys me about that. There should be an option to turn that off. Connie, you get a penalty straight away anyway. And if you run wide, it still slows you down. It's not fair. And if it's only a little bit, it'll still slow you down. It's really annoying. Now I'm going down towards Parabolica. 1.4 behind Massa. Going down the big hairpin, would you call it? Well, not really, but it is a 90 degree turn. Change of direction. As we go, as we go down the start, finish straight. It's gone green. Can't see a thing. Cannot see a thing. Oh, and it's come back now. Okay, good. We got the green screen has gone away now. As he's heading. And down towards turn three, would it? Because of the chicane. And I'm in seventh. Trying to chase down Raikkonen. For his position. 1.6 behind him. Webber's just behind me. Let's see how this race can unfold, unfold then. Looks like I might get a few points, hopefully. Not expecting much from me in this race. Oh, completely shut the door on Weber then. If it had been much later, I'd have taken him out and I'd have got a penalty. Oh, and I'm 5.2 seconds faster on the fastest lap. But I have lost about 8 tenths, I think. Not good. Told you I wasn't good at Monza. And I will repeat that. I'm not good at Monza. So excuse for this absolute appalling driving. It is just no way to explain. The only way to explain it is rubbish driving. The DRS has been enabled. Don't know why I'm pointing out the obvious here. So who thinks Vettel's going to win the championship? No who thinks Alonso is going to win the championship? Should be a fairly good race. Fight for it. It's Abu Dhabi this weekend. Mm, uh, day to night race. Abu Dhabi is always a boring race. Nothing really happens. The only good one was like 2010, I think. Where, or 11, where Schumacher spun and was piled on top of. I think about the only interesting thing that happened all race. Why is someone just straight wins and that's it? Barely any fights. I don't mean actual fights, because... I mean, like, race fights. And what's happened here, then? I think I've always just kind of froze on me there. Going around there trying to get Weber back. Oh, and I've got him up the inside. Will I get him though? I should get him. Who's got DRS? He has DRS because I was ahead of him. Thought he would. Now is he going to try and overtake me back? 
There's no sign of him. And no, he hasn't. As I click the apex, oh, beautiful corner around there. Absolutely beautiful. So, people out there, let me know whether you got an Xbox, PC, or PS3. Which one you think is better, and why? Because I'm having this quite a big argument with my mates. They say Xbox is better, and me and my mates say PS3 is better. And we tried to compromise, and it's sort of working, but just if I'd like to have some facts from actual good gamers, well, that'd be nice. Seems to be. Oh, what happened there? Raikkonen just went completely off the circuit. Cure. That was close, almost smashed into the rear of him. Looks like Massa may have just pushed him off. Good boy, Massa. Oh, I like that. Oop, overstay there. You don't want overstay there, do you? Now I'm trying to catch up with Massa to try and nick his place. Because I like nicking places. I'm in P6. Lap 4 of 5. Not that good a fastest lap. 127.9 is not that good, to be fair. I can do faster. I wish Grosjean would get replaced for next season. He's annoying me. He just can't keep taking people out. I don't think he took anyone out in the Indian Grand Prix. I think we should just get the test drive. He's probably better than he can't. He won't take anyone out. Can you imagine if him and Moldy Nuts... Well, at the beginning of the season. Imagine if him and Moldy Nuts got together. They'd probably collide and probably be seriously injured. In, injured both of them. Uh, it's frozen me again. But the, it's still going. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, it's just gone again. I'm now going around a corner, frozen. Trying to get to Massa now. Still trying to get him, Riken is fairly close. I'm above my projected place. I'm slightly faster than last lap. And it's come back to me now, good. Right. It looks like, oh, Mass is well out of the picture now. As long as he spins this corner. No, I don't think he would. Now we go around the final corner. Fernando Alonso wins. Uh, uh, funny that. Home Grand Prix and he wins, eh? Not at all a fixed, eh? No, I didn't think it'd be fixed, would it? No. At least to beat Roman Grosjean, though. That was a good start to the season. And look at that, you got the fastest lap then. Fernando Alonso, 10th faster. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.